seven one day two yesterday and in, in the last lesson we did um graphing exponential functions we talked about exponential growth this one's talking about exponential growth and that means it would graph like this and then we talked about exponential decay that would go along with this graph it would look like this where it starts high and then comes down Today we're going to talk about the models that are presented with it, the application of it. Okay, so here's our formulas. You have the initial amount a times one plus r. That's the rate of growth. It's expressed as a decimal, and then the time goes here. One plus r is the growth factor. We need to know that. Okay, or the decay factor if it's one minus r. If it's decaying, it's taking some percentage away. So. Let's do some examples. You will want a calculator today, so get yourself a calculator handy. Well, let's get started. Mr. Lopez recently won a lottery. Suppose he takes a lump sum payment and he invests 50 million So that is the A value. He invests 50 million to count the yields 5% interest annually. Okay, so every year he gets 5%. Now it says to express that as a decimal. Quick review on changing from decimal to percent. I think a Dr. Pepper tells you how many to move it. This one's starting at P for percent and it's going to the decimal. That means we're moving the decimal to this direction. Even tells you which way to go. If it starts at D and goes towards P, it goes that way. So this would be 0 0.05 is R. And then it says, then estimate, oh, write it, write the model, and then estimate the amount in the account after 20 years. So after we write it, we're going to plug in a time of 20 years. But first, we got to write this. We're plugging into its growth, 1 plus R to the T. Let me use L for lottery. L of T. We're talking about in terms of time, not X. So L of T is going to equal 50 million times 1 plus 0 0.05 to the T. Now, they're going to write that as 50 million. 1.05 to the t, and we want to find if t equals 20 years. So if we plug in 20 for t, we would have 50 million times 1.05 to the 20th. We'll type that all into the calculator. Enter all that in, and I get 132,664,885.3 is how much money you would have after 20 years. 132,664,885.3 euros. If he invested at five percent for twenty years, gross. Talk about this one. Pause it, Rowan. If you need to go back, an initial population of four hundred and seventy quail increases at an annual rate of twenty-one percent. This is an increase problem again. We're talking about this formula: one plus r to the t. A is four seventy. R is twenty-one percent which as a decimal would be 0.21, slide that decimal over two places. So we're gonna have A is 470 times one plus 2.1 to the T. And it wants to know of just the model, that would just be this. I said 0.21, I didn't write that there. That's my formula. I plug into it. it. Says for three years, what do I get? Four 
approximately 832.63. Now, wouldn't make sense to have part of a quiz. So we're going to round it to the nearest whole number, so that would be 833. Quiz. Try another one. An initial population of L, 1020F decreases. This time we're talking about one minus R. This one would be 120, 1020 times one minus 8% as a decimal would be 0 0.08. If you're taking away 8%, it should make sense that this would be 0.92 because that'd be 92%. And then we're going to evaluate it after four years. So you're going to take 1,020 times 0.92 to the fourth. Now we know it should decrease if we set it up correctly. Plug it in, I get 730.72. which says Ryan Veneer's whole number again. So we have 731 L. Okay, so can we identify if it's growth or decay by looking at the value that is right here? If it is absolute value is greater than one, then it's growth. If it is in between zero and one, meaning it's a fraction, then it is exponential decay. Four thirds, you're like, oh, that's a fraction, but it's actually greater than one. The top number is greater, so it is growth. This one is greater than one, so it is growth. This one is in between zero and one, so it is decay. More practice on this without the hints here where they write it out in words. Look at this one, growth or decay. The fraction is less than one, so that one is decay. Eight over five, that's growth. That is greater than one. 14 is growth. 1.02 is greater than one, that's growth. And 0.92 is less than one, that is okay. All right, so that's what you're doing today. You're gonna to do some of those word problems where you're plugging into the, that formula and then where you're telling whether it is growth or decay.